For the following exercise, evaluate the function f at the values f of negative 2, f of negative 1, etc. All right. So here is the function we are dealing with. All right. What they are essentially asking us to do is to uh, evaluate or find the f of x value. All right. Find this variable when x is equal to 2 or when x is equal to 1 or when x is equal to 0, etc. All right. So what we do is I have a series of steps down here. Okay. We can just follow them and then the problem becomes fairly straightforward. So the first step is to plug in the indicated value of uh, for f of x. All right. First thing though, before I even do that, let me just, I always like to rewrite my formula. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and substitute out for this value that they give us. This is the indicated f of negative 2 value they want us to find. So now what I do, instead of plugging, instead of having f of x here, I'm just going to write now f of negative 2. And what this is going to say is now anywhere I have an x, okay, in this equation, I'm going to plug in negative 2. So that is essentially step number 2 down here on the left-hand side. It says substitute x on the right, meaning this one, for the indicated value of x on the left, meaning that one. All right, so this is simply now going to be 4 minus 2 times negative 2, okay, because that was the x value they wanted us to find the function at. And now all we have to do is step number 3 is to simplify. All right, so this is fairly straightforward. Treat the object on the left here as a variable, so there's no math to do with that. Treat this as if it said y or a or b or c or whatever your favorite letter is. Um, and when we, do the, when we do the arithmetic here, right, this just works out to be a positive 4, negative 2 times 2. And so this simply reduces down to 8. All right, so that's, that was for the first example. Now the second one, it says f of negative 1. All right, so let's do this one on out, and then maybe we'll do the rest pretty quickly. So rewrite the formula. f of x is equal to 4 minus 2x. Now, plug in the indicated f of x value. So they want us to find f of negative 1. So now plug that in for f of x. So this is f of negative 1. And now anywhere on the right-hand side that you see in x, you're going to plug in negative 1 for it. And that's all. So this is 4 minus 2 times negative 1. So f of negative 1 is equal to 4 plus 2. right? So f of negative 1 is equal to 6. And there's that answer, right? So if we were to now look at the third one, maybe I'll just do this and then we'll, we'll detect the pattern. So rewrite it. So f of x is equal to 4 minus 2x. The indicated uh, f of x value is now f of 0. So let's plug that on in. Remember, anywhere now on the right-hand side you see an x, you're going to plug in a 0 for it. So f of 0 now is simply just, you know, negative 2 times 0 is 0. So that's just 4, right? So notice there is a certain pattern here. All right, so I went from 8 to 6 to 4. Guess what's next? Probably 2, right? This is a linear function, so we know that all the changes are proportional. So therefore, I know my answer for number 4, I'm not even going to have to do the workout. You, you by all means can, all right? But it's going to be the same process, all right? The only difference is that the x value in here is now going to be a positive 1 for the next, and then the x value for the last will be a positive 2. All right, so we can say now that for the fourth one, f of 1 is going to simply be 2. Okay, and then for number 5, we would simply have f of 2 is now going to be equal to 0. And that's all, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please help us out. Subscribe. That would be awesome. Hit that like button and tell your friends. Thank you so much.